Hello and welcome to Crafting with Evie. I am your host, Evie. So we are doing another drawing prompt. We're getting towards the end of the month. I have the the word of the day is boot. I saw this picture and I said, hmm, let me try to draw this. I was debating whether or not to use watercolor, but I think uh, using charcoals and color pencils, I pretty sure I my pencils, um, would be very, very, you know, very, very cool to draw this. Since it's mostly a black boot. I'm only gonna do one boot, not two, because there's two here. I'm gonna try to draw it. And then, you know, this side's the practice side, and this side's the regular side. So let's get to it. Try to draw. So I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Staying out of trouble. I even got my charcoals kind of pre sharpened. It's just so sad about the pencil being broken. I gotta actually tighten this up just a little bit because we are getting closer and closer to this part. My surgical tape. Ah, yep. Just why not tighten it up type deal. Just strengthen it a little bit. And then when I when I get there, then I can just take off the tape and go to it. Okay. So I got my magical pencil all nice and sharpened. I got my tutilian. Hi. <laughs> I'm so happy I can say actually say the word. Oh, that's pretty sad. Okay, so looking at the boot, I'm looking at all the different kind of, you know what I mean, shapes that I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of like rectangles, uh, maybe like a triangle, oh, like a square, you know, those ones that kind of go down like this, seeing that. I've um, been watching a lot of YouTube videos too as well. I'm going to move these to the other side so they're out of my way and I don't break them. So let's try. Hmm. I'm like, should I start with the sole? Mark up. I think I better to try. Yeah, kind of like a square, like a rectangle for the top then you kind of like it kind of goes down to there and then you kind of like and then you kind of have like and then kind of I'm just getting the um, kind of look like a boot a little bit and then, because I did pretty good on the, on the shoe, if you remember. I'm trying to go back how far I was with the shoe. Shoe, where are you? Ugh. Oh, I, I, I see it, I see it. See, I did pretty good on the shoe, so. But I also picked a good subject, too. So. And you kind of have, like, this little loopy thing in the back to pull it in your foot. Cause you got the this part, yeah, and then we're kind of like up, and you kind of like it goes down, and then you kind of like have the tongue, in the view. Hopefully you can see that. It's kind of hard to see because of how I have the camera set up. It's hard to see. Uh, I think I need to practice anymore. We're gonna try to do my best on drawing the shoe, the boot, I should say. I gotta move. Actually, I probably move you guys over. Sorry if you feel like you're moving.
kind of got it kind of jimmy jimmy rigged oh i gotta move my chair over now i feel like i'm moving moving okay so like i said this is kind of like a, a wreck oh let's see how do how do i yeah i want the the one part here yeah yeah okay all right so you got your square rectangle here which just kind of goes down and then this goes this way and then you kind of go this way that might be more of a boot right there I was in debate on whether to, to draw, like, a cowboy boot, but I'm like, I was looking at the pictures that I was looking at, there was so much detail, and I was like, no, nah, I don't want to make it too difficult, you know? Okay, let's try to go in a little bit more of a detail. Let's start with start with the back here. Kind of trying to go a little bit light. This kind of goes down, and then you kind of go out and. Ladder racing today, but that's okay because I'm just starting out with not that much detail. I'm just trying to get the shape of it down. And then you kind of got like this goes like in like here. kind of got this part kind of goes down like this because and the funny thing is I do have a boot I'm like oh maybe I could draw that yeah let's go with the picture <laughs> kind of got the shape of it down oh the shape to be mm -hmm. right here and it kind of goes up and up around I got this part going. Going 
Guys, you kind of got like two boots kind of like going off of each other here. And when you first start drawing, don't go, like, I was always taught, don't go too much into detail. Just do, like, your quick outline. This has to come down anyway. It kind of goes down. here to help you get the boot on get your boot on I do have them on my one one boot my snow boots. I don't know if I like that. I'm not sure if this has to come. rather erase now when I'm not too far into it because then if you work on like hours and hours of like your drawings and stuff like that and then you have to start over as an artist that makes you want to cry sometimes because you're like oh I work so hard Actually, that looks better. I think it looks better. Kind of go back a little bit. And, like, of course, I might have picked the wrong, you know what I mean? Subject to draw, but, you know. It is what it is. And I was thinking, oh, this might look good in just you know, just pencil too. That's what I was thinking. And if you're hearing like uh sawing and stuff. That's my neighbors, they're getting their yard done. That's what you're hearing. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but just in case, I'm covering my own. Let's see here. Oh my god, ah, so many. Kind of the line. I'm gonna try to do circles here. 
Maybe I should have went with a real shoe. A real boot, I should say. Backwards C's. Kinda. And then we can kinda like where I want the got these big bows coming out of them but I might just like leave them oh, just like leave like oh this one would come down and then you have the string So it'll be like this way. And then you take out the other half. Like it like comes like. You have maybe, maybe not that one. Maybe we make it this one because. This one to be where the the shoelace comes out. Ah. We want, and then we'll have like this whole one up here 
just sitting there. Like, just in case you need it. <laughs> maybe not. Or maybe not. Okay, so we want kind of... something like that and then kind of like my last video like Like, kind of like I want the lace to come up like it's going through the hole. Yeah, and then I can just like, oh, it's getting ready for the work day type deal boot. I should have done a, you know what I should have done? A Tim! <laughs> Tim boots. Oh, I want I want this a little bit wider. And you know what I mean I everybody's like, oh, don't you get discouraged if you Yeah Might be too wide. Oh, it looks so much better. That looks so Actually, that looks a lot better. Doesn't it, guys? Doesn't that look a lot better? I think it does. Like I can hear you. Because <laughs> this is pre-recorded. Looks good. What do you think? I think it looks good. Like that. Let's just slowly release. Yeah. Erase it. I don't know if I should do it where you can see the Cross. Maybe I did it too, like, oh, you can see kind of like inside the boot there. Oh, well. Okay, so I'm going to take my. I just call it, let's see. Slate gray is definitely the darkest. Let's see. Um. Slider. Ooh, this one's the lightest. And then it's this one. And you can start going into shadowing. And then you got this one to go into more shadowing. And then this one you got to do the outlines. So. I always like, I don't know why I like using lighter colors first. I think it's just easier to shadow in everything. I'm just 
this color in and everything and then I like to go over and over and over and where I want the darker colors to go. See, I use my phone to videotape everything. So if I get a phone call, my video screwed. I don't think it'll be too bad. I'm not a very popular person. So that color is finished. Then we can go in how you want. want. Hmm. Where do I want the darkest color? Like right here. I'll do all my line art real quick. Do like It would have been really cool. Oh my god, sorry if I scared you. I <laughs> know you've been very quiet. Um, a military boot. Oh my god, that would have been cool too. That would have been cool. Oh, well, trivia to the troops. That would have been that would have been awesome. What did I know?
happened. Oh. I went too thick of a line. Thick strap. Okay, let's see here. I want a little bit of darker gray. On this side. up as we go up then we need this lay to do the Lights, but... is dark anyway. It'd be very cool with line art, but you know, can't. It bleeds through the paper. That's why I can't. done with a slate but I can go that way and then I gotta sharpen these up again before I have to use them Why is it not working? I'm losing. I think once I do like the using the charcoal, I'm just gonna color in everything a little bit 
darker gray, and then use the charcoal to, to do the shadowing, I think. If you're shaking, I'm sorry. to be very sharpened. Okay, so now Da, 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 da. Okay, we're going to use the 4B first. And I'm just going to go around the edge of the foot. Is she right here? Is she Going with where I want the lines to go. Go over all the lines, maybe. And then go over like where I want with a 6B. I think would be like really cool. to the boyfriend last night. I can't, can't wait for him to come home. By the time you guys see this on Facebook, he's already home. <laughs> this is like, I pre-record my videos, so. <sighs> this helps me keep up my videos and then just in case I have a, you know, a day where I'm like, I can't do anything because the fact that I have to work or something else comes up, I get sick. At least I'm ahead of ants. Okay, now I'm gonna take this. Six B. Go over where I want the darker details. Be like shading in like a couple of spots, you know what I mean? I think will help too. You know, shade it up a little bit. When they go on with the tatillion. my favorite part,
this stuff, the charcoal shades much better, I think, on watercolor than anywhere else. go in like kind of like crisscrossing I think that might help think so well, let's find out. I think line art would be very good on this. Just to bring out like the, you know, where the boot soles are and or even just maybe just a pen. I think it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do think it looks pretty good. Let the darken up like where the soles are. I think bring it out a little bit more. So I'm done with this stuff. Let me try using a regular pen so it doesn't kind of bleed through. Dirty boot. All I can think about is uh, in Zon, you know, Toy Story where it goes, get that snack out of my boot. <laughs> oh, good times. I think this is going to help us a tad. start practicing with inks too because I'm going to go into Inktober in October but if I can do like a little bit of like ink work now you know what I mean it might help
I think it looks actually pretty good with the with the line art on it. I think that looks a lot better. Looks so much better. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's a boot, people. It's a boot. And can you tell that I've been messing with charcoal? <laughs> <laughs> so let's initial it and then today oh my god and my scholar box is being sent out and I've been putting down what I've been using so when somebody asked me oh what was that made of oh it's right there on the page so yeah this is the Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. This is the final result. This is what I did. Oh my God, hold on, hold on a minute. Maybe. Looks better, kind of blend in a little bit. Go. Okay, so pens down, chefs. Pens down. <laughs> so that is my boot. I think it actually turned out pretty well. I actually like it. it turned out really neat. Ah, tomorrow's is a seashell. Uh, I don't know if I should uh, do. Hey, you know what I mean? What pastels or I haven't tried pastels yet. Uh. Travel in paradise, but I'm gonna end the video here. So, if you're watching on Facebook, hit that thumbs up if you like this content content that I did. And if you're looking at, at through my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get more videos when I post and I hope you until the next video I hope you stay safe uh take care of yourself and I will see you in the next video bye